Hey there folks, my name is Richard, Built's resident travel expert. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how valuable Alaska miles are, how to redeem those miles, and why you might want to pay attention, even if you don't live on the West Coast. Let's waste no time and jump right in. To start, remember Built is the only transferable points program that lets you transfer your points to Alaska Airlines at a one-to-one -one ratio. So outside of flying Alaska Airlines, Built is probably your best bet to build your stash of those ever so valuable Alaska miles. As a quick primer, Alaska Airlines is the fifth largest airline in North America, and while you may think their name gives away the location of their headquarters, they're actually based in Seattle. And they service destinations over the US, Canada, Mexico, and even some cities in Central America. But what's most important is just like other airlines, you can use Alaska Miles not only to book flights operated by Alaska Airlines, but you can also use them on flights operated by Alaska's 24 different partners. You see, Alaska is part of the One World Alliance, one of the three largest airline partnership groups in the world. And this allows you to book flights operated by other One World Airlines like British Airways, Cathay Pacific, and Japan Airlines, all on Alaska's website. For the aspirational folks, there's some pretty awesome ways to use Alaska Miles. I currently have about 100,000 Alaska Miles and some of the flights I'm looking at are flying Japan Airlines Business Class to Tokyo for 75,000 miles, American Airlines Business Class to Europe starting at 55,000 Alaska Miles, or trying out that new Taiwan carrier Starlux from California to Taipei. But for me, one of my favorite ways to use Alaska Miles, and perhaps what makes them so valuable, is the ability to book American Airlines. As the largest airline in the world, it's the most versatile. I make plenty of domestic hops on American Airlines out of my hometown of Atlanta, and no matter where you live in the US, you can pretty much always find an American flight. With all that said, let me walk you through how I would typically book American Airlines flights using Alaska Miles. To begin, be sure you have a stash of Alaska Miles in your account, either by flying Alaska Airlines or by transferring your built points to Alaska from the built app. You can also earn these miles through Alaska's co-branded credit cards and various partner programs. The more miles you have, the more possibilities open up for your travel plans. Next, head over and log into the Alaska Airlines website. When you're searching for flights on their booking portal, you'll notice an option to select Use Miles. Hit search, and when your results pop up, you'll see any Alaska partners that operate the route you looked for, including American Airlines. Here's a quick example of flying from Los Angeles to my hometown of Atlanta. You'll see I can book the nonstop American Airlines flight designated by the picture of the American Airlines plane tail on the search results. It's only 12,500 Alaska miles and $19 for me to fly home across the country from California. A pretty great deal these days. After selecting your desired American Airlines flight, review the details and proceed to confirm your booking using your Alaska Airlines miles. Always make sure to double check the mileage cost and any additional fees associated with the book. And there you go. Booking American Airlines flights with Alaska Miles is a fantastic and easy way to maximize the value of your built points. Finally, let's cover a couple of pro tips for using your Alaska Miles on American flights. The first thing to remember is not all American Airlines flights will have award space available. I can go into nauseating detail about when partners release award space to each other, but I'll save you the snooze fest and just tell you to try and have flexible travel dates. The easiest way to see all the dates available for your route is to use Alaska's award calendar tool when you are searching for flights. All you have to do is select award calendar on the left hand side of the homepage, just underneath where you selected use miles, and an entire month's worth of availability will be shown for you. The next really cool thing Alaska lets you do is book a free stopover on award tickets. Say you live in Los Angeles and you want to fly American Airlines to Paris. If you book with Alaska Miles, you could book Los Angeles to New York, see New York City for a few days, and then travel on to Paris, all on the same ticket for the same amount of Alaska Miles, even if you didn't see New York. This is a great way to basically see two destinations for the price of one. You can even combine Alaska flights and American flights onto the same ticket to build some really awesome stopover itineraries. So in conclusion, that's why I love having some Alaska Miles with me at all times. If you haven't already, head to the travel tab in the built app, select Alaska, and link your built rewards and Alaska mileage plan account so you're ready to transfer. We are really excited about this new partnership with Alaska and hope many of you are as well. I'd love to hear in the comments below your favorite ways to use Alaska miles and what else you might like to see built do with Alaska Airlines. That's all I have for you today. With that, I'll see you out there.